Today we're going to take a closer look at this awesome Honda Rebel 1100 build that's got a few accessories, a Cerakote finish instead of your normal paint or wrap, and something I haven't seen on one of these yet, a set of knobby tires. But first, if you'd like to learn more about what makes the new Rebel lineup special and how they punch above their weight class, check out my review on the new Honda Rebel 300, 500, and 1100 models by clicking up here, and they'll be linked in the description as well. And speaking of links in the description, I'll have links below for each of these Honda Rebel accessories with more info, multiple places to buy from, and discount codes too so you might be able to save a few bucks all while helping support the channel in the process so I can continue making these videos for you guys. And first up are the slash cut billet aluminum grips from Burley Brand that are wrapped with a rubber sleeve to help absorb some of the vibration to help keep your hands from going numb and they definitely add a little more flair over the factory grips. Then to match those we've got a set of billet aluminum foot pegs to spice things up a bit with the same style rubber sleeve leave for added grip. And while your foot's resting there, you've got this powder coated steel rear brake lever with a billet toe peg and a black anodized finished with more Burley brand branding. Then for a little added crash protection on the Rebel, you've got their crash slider kit that has these Delrin pugs and a rod that slides through the upper rear shock mount and that make a kit for the front as well. Now I haven't seen or heard of any crash examples yet with these installed to see just how well they work when this bike slides across the ground, so if you have any real world feedback on them, let me know down in the comments. And speaking of shocks, this bike is also sporting the stiletto shocks from Burley brand, and with this design, the main coil is supposed to absorb the larger hits and prevent bottoming out while the secondary coil smooths out minor imperfections on the road. Then we move over to one of the next things that probably caught your eye and that's the tall sissy bar. It's a one piece design that mounts up on the outside of the fender rails for a quick install and there's no denying it brings a little old school flavor to the bike. Followed up by a side mounted tag bracket to clean up the tail of the bike with the same styling to match all of the other accessories. And up next is the powder coated aluminum radiator guard to help protect the stock cooling system System from any potential damage heading its way. And let's face it, it just looks cool, which is why most people add these. Then we have this set of side covers that help tie in with the overall slash cut styling of all these accessories from Burley Brand to replace the factory plastic pieces. They're powder coated and are a simple bolt on affair like everything else we've covered so far. Then we have a set of their billet radar mirrors that are hands down a million times better than the stock lollipop mirrors that Honda throws on all the Rebel models. Now let's move over to one of the more fun modifications you can do to your Rebel and that's an aftermarket exhaust. You know, so she makes a little more racket when you pull her hair back. It's sporting the high mount TBR slip on exhaust system and take a listen to how she sounds compared to the stock exhaust and then we'll come back for a few more things. Yeah, I think there's a clear winner there on which one sounds better, but what do you guys think? Do you prefer the TBR exhaust on the Rebel or the stock setup? Not everyone likes to make a ton of noise though, and the factory pipe has a little bark to it, more so than some models from Honda, so it just depends on how loud you want to be and how much attention you want thrown your way. Then we have the Cerakote finish, which is why this bike is tan and not one of the three other factory colors for this year. Now I won't bore you guys with an explanation on the process, but it's a polymer ceramic composite coating that can be applied to many different materials and it's pretty cool to see it start trickling more and more into the motorcycle and power sports world. Up next are the tires and this is the first time I've seen a set of knobbies on a Rebel 1100 and I've got to say, I like it. I like it a lot. These are the Adventure Trail E805 tires from Shinko and I think they really add a lot to the overall styling of this bike, especially when paired up with the tan finish and all of the other styling accessories thrown in the mix. I think the whole combo really works well together and just pops to where it'll definitely draw a lot of people's attention, but what do you guys think about it all? Is there anything you would have done differently? And if it was yours, what would you do next? 
Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section and I'll be joining in on the conversation too. If you'd like to check out some more custom Honda Rebel 1100 and 500 models, click on over to my second channel for a closer look at some absolutely wild builds. But that's a wrap for this one. Thanks again for watching and supporting all of this. I really appreciate it and we'll see you in the next one. But first, 